My name is Cedric, and I get to be a pastor at Life Church and a chaplain for the NBA team, the Oklahoma City Thunder. And today's verse is from Revelation chapter 4, verse 11, and it says this, You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things, and by your will they were created and have been. This is an incredible scene from the book of Revelation where John gets a glimpse of Jesus on the throne and the stunning worship that is taking place. In the presence of Jesus, everything changes. And this shows us what does it mean to truly worship our God? You see, today I think we use the word worship as maybe a song that we sing or a church service that we go to. But again, the Bible is showing us that worship is so much more than that. Matter of fact, worship is more than a song that we sing or our prayers or us preaching. Those are all aspects of our church life that are expressions of worship. When we look at worship, it is a response to who God is and what he has done. The most common use of the word worship in the original language actually means to bow down because of his glory and authority in our lives. And that's exactly what's taking place here. As they are surrounding Jesus on the throne, as great as they are, they have to bow down because they see him for who he really is, that he has created everything and holds everything in his hands. Do we ever just stop and thank God for who he is? Or are we always thinking about what's next? Do we ever just sit, put everything aside, and sit in his presence. My prayer and my hope is that we would do that today. Today is the day that we would understand the one who created the earth, who created the stars by the words of his mouth, knows you and me by name. Today is the day that we take a moment and say, Jesus, you are worthy, and let our lives worship and honor you.